So I'm a professional crochet knitwear designer and for the last couple months I cannot get this idea out of my head about knitting with ramen noodles. I have a pack right here. We're gonna see how it goes. Oh I'm submerging the noodles right now in cold water. I think the best way to go about this is knitting with three noodles at a time. I think that's gonna make it sturdy, so we're gonna try that. It's definitely gonna get wet. <laughs> okay, I have a few separated out into three each, so I'm gonna start knitting. First thing you're gonna do is cast on with the noodles. I just need a little extra noodle on the side, you know what I mean? I'm gonna use stockinette stitch. It's really hard to knit with this. Okay, that's my first row. I did my first row. That actually worked. There's my first row of noodles. So I just did a knit stitch, now I'm gonna do purl stitches. Boom. Row two <laughs> is done. I think I'm gonna keep re-wetting the noodles because they get a little tacky, like me on a Friday night. Row three. Okay, we got a little breakage. Not much. That's row three. I'm gonna go for row four. Okay, there's row four. This is five rows of knitted ramen noodles. This is six rows. It's getting kind of heavy, so it might start to tear. I'm worried about that, but we're gonna try to see as long as we can. Pretty soon they'll be back up on our ramen noodles. Queen is the title. And if you are my rival, then that means you're suicidal. I don't think the noodles can stand up to any more weight. So that's seven rows of knitted ramen noodles. If you want to follow along, the pattern is in my Instagram, link in bio, and you can comment and suggest anything else you want me to do.